Alex Babinski was the lead guitarist of an upcoming band known as Paris. They released their debut record, White Noise, back in 2014, featuring their breakout single, My House, which fast-tracked this band to superstardom. So for Babinski, he had many reasons to be highly optimistic about his rapidly upcoming career. They were playing arenas with some of the biggest bands in rock. But unfortunately for Alex, all of that changed on the verge of the release of their third album in 2020, when very serious allegations were made against him on social media. But from the very beginning, Alex maintained his innocence, 100% denying the allegations against him through a statement on social media. Despite that fact, Paris released a strongly written statement which appeared to condemn Alex for these accusations. He hired legal counsel to vigorously comb over all of the allegations and determine what was true and what was false. And after several years of fact-finding by his attorneys, Babinski returned to social media to provide an update to fans. And what he had to say was downright shocking. He shared a screenshot of a signed and notarized retraction statement from the person making allegations against him on social media. They admitted they never met him, they never spent time with him, and that the allegations against him were entirely false. This is what Paris said at the time they let Babinski go amid those allegations. Notice the tone of the statement, which sounds as though they've arrived at the conclusion that Babinski committed the acts he was accused of. They wrote on August 26, 2020, we've been made aware of the allegations involving Alex Babinski. We absolutely and emphatically will not tolerate sexual harassment, coercion, and all other forms of sexual misconduct, online and offline. It's our responsibility to ensure and provide a safe space within the Paris community and to believe and support victims and survivors. As of today, Alex will no longer be associated with Paris. He will be handling these matters privately and professionally. And now Babinski has provided a long awaited update after years of legal work from his counsel. He wrote, Babinski wrote in his statement online, I wanted to give you all an update on what's been going on with me. In June 2020, accusations against me were posted online by Kia Romani, which led to me being removed from the successful band I was in. I've since spent the last 3.5 years in a lawsuit against Kia Romani to clear my name and prove my innocence. During that time, I've been forced to publicly defend myself on many occasions. I've lost my career, had my name slandered beyond repair, lost many friends, and suffered damage to my mental health that I will never recover from. However, I am happy to now say the lawsuit has been resolved to show the truth, as you can now see in the image provided. It states that I have never had any physical contact with my accuser. We have never met. I never drank with her or had intimate relationships with her. And I did not encourage her or anyone for that matter to engage in the things she said I did. I hope now I'll be able to take steps to rebuild my life and continue on a journey to heal. And that just breaks my heart, man, to read that. And here is that screenshot of that retraction statement which was shared by his accuser on her social media. The statement reads, I, Kia Romani, am making the statement to set the record straight regarding my previous posts and tweets about Alex Babinski. I published and republished certain tweets and posts on June 28th, 2020 and June 29th, 2020 that included tweets I received from other people concerning Alex Babinski. Some of these tweets concerned accusations from other people that I was not present for. As to the accusations directly by me, I've never had any personal physical contact with Alex Babinski. I have never met him, never drank with him, and never had sex with him. Alex did not himself encourage me to engage in sex or underage drinking, and was not on the phone with Tyler, as set out in my tweets. As to the accusations concerning others which I published as posts and tweets, I do not know whether these posts or tweets were true or false. I have no direct knowledge of Alex Babinski ever participating in or encouraging sex or underage drinking with me or anyone. In the only direct communication between both Alex and me that I ever had, Alex was polite and courteous. I complimented Alex on the band Paris and he thanked me. I also have no direct knowledge of any involvement by Alex Babinski in any alleged potentially reprehensible actions or activities done by Tyler. I am writing this to clarify the posts and tweets that I made in June 2020. And then if you look, it's signed and it has been notarized. In the wake of that stunning development there from Alex Babinski, many Paris fans are wondering whether or not the band will issue an apology to him 
or even offer him his old job back considering the reason he was terminated was now null and void. In their statement, Paris wrote that they felt a responsibility to believe and support victims and survivors. The problem is they weren't believing a victim, they were believing a false accuser. And that's exactly why you shouldn't make employment decisions based on unproven social media allegations. It's my hope that somebody out there will see Alex Babinski, recognize his talents, and maybe offer him an opportunity considering this terrible situation he's been through. And as always, let me know what you think in the comments. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.